in this lesson we'll learn how to draw labels and also atom numbering so labels can represent regions of a structure that you define for example you can assign a label to an unimportant region of a molecule and then contract that region to reduce the size of your drawing you can then expand the label to see the whole structure let's let's just do this example um let's take benzene and then go to your chain tool and just have this okay and let's complete it with another benzene so you have the structure now if for some reason you want to contract a certain portion you can always select the portion that you want to contract okay let's do it this way so we have this portion and then let's head over to structure and head over to contract label so from the contract label you can type in whatever that you want so let's type in this and hit ok so you've contracted it now you can also expand you can sometimes just right click and go back to expand label and it brings it back so that is basically how you contract you can also expand labels as i've shown so if your structure contains defined nicknames long atom labels or contracted labels ChemDraw can restore your structure to the fully expanded form. So that is exactly what I did previously. So this is like a contracted label. You can always expand it. Or if you have, let's say, long atom label. So let's try one. Let's go in for the solid bond and have this. So now if you have this this is contracted form but you want to expand the atoms so you can also select and head over to structure and go to expand and now you have it over here let's try one more example so you can go back to benzene again So we have this form now and the same way we can um, contract or expand so we can just come in and let's head over to structure and contract and we can give it a name as well so that is that is one way of doing that However, we can also have the same structure. We can have this and have the contracted form. Okay. And head over to text. And let's call this CH2CH3. Okay, CH2 again. NH. CC H3 and then we need a double bond so let's just go for single head over to this side and let's call this our O and let's go for another bond so now we have double now with this same structure we can come in and 
expand this side so expand label and you can compare it just looks like that so that was what i was trying to show you can always contract and you can also expand so that is how you add labels in chemdraw the next one will be to do auto numbering so you can add sequential numbers or letters to the atoms of your structure you can add numbers so let's say one two three you can just number them you can also um, add text with a number so let's say you can add, say atom one atom two you can add greek letters and also letters as well let's begin what you do is you can just come in so let's say we want to number these atoms one two three four five what you do is you select one or more atoms you want to number so let's say you want to number this you just you can just come to right click and then come to show atom number so there you have the number you can also right click and then show atom number right click show atom number right click and then show atom number right click and then show atom number so that's basically how you do that you can also let's say if you want to remove you can just erase it so you see you can edit it separately that can be erased so that is one way of removing it and if you want to format all you do is just select the box so let's come in and this is eraser selected so let's just come back so you can select this and you can edit it so you can even expand it so you see it well so you can expand it and right click and the first way of editing is position so you can position it automatically which we've selected or you can position it by angle which you can choose you can also position by offset or by absolute so that is by changing the point and it will go wherever you need it to go so that is one way you can also right click and go to edit so now you can change this to maybe letters or you can go to greek symbols and all you can also um, right click again you can change the font to anyone that you can have and let me zoom in a little bit so yeah you can change the style bold or whatever change the size change the alignment and also the colors so that is something useful on how to also add or auto number your element or your atoms and that is very important for your work